Robert Walpole, 1676-1745, was a British politician and statesman who served as the first Prime Minister of Great Britain from 1721 to 1742. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential politicians in British history, and his tenure as Prime Minister saw the consolidation of many of the powers and institutions that would come to define modern British government. Walpole was born in Houghton, Norfolk, England, in 1676. He was the third son of Robert Walpole, a wealthy landowner, and his wife Mary Burwell. Walpole was educated at Eton College and King's College, Cambridge, but left university without taking a degree. In 1701, Walpole was elected to the House of Commons as a member of Parliament for the constituency of Castle Rising. He quickly established himself as a skilled politician and rose through the ranks of the Whig Party, eventually becoming its de facto leader. Walpole first served as a member of the Privy Council and a Secretary of State before being appointed First Lord of the Treasury and Chancellor of the Exchequer in 1715. He played a key role in stabilizing the British economy after the tumultuous years following the Glorious Revolution of 1688, and his policies of low taxes and reduced government spending helped to create a more stable and prosperous economic climate. In 1721, Walpole was appointed Prime Minister by King George I, becoming the first person to hold the title officially. He remained in office for over 20 years, during which time he consolidated his power and built up a network of political allies and supporters. He was known for his ability to navigate the complex political landscape of 18th century Britain, and his leadership helped to establish the primacy of the Prime Minister as the country's chief executive. During his tenure, Walpole oversaw a number of important reforms and initiatives, including the creation of the South Sea Company and the establishment of a standing army. He also pursued a policy of diplomatic neutrality, seeking to avoid involvement in the ongoing conflicts between European powers. Despite his successes, Walpole was not without his critics. He faced accusations of corruption and political misconduct, and was the target of several unsuccessful attempts to remove him from office. He eventually resigned as Prime Minister in 1742 and died three years later at the age of 68. Today, Robert Walpole is remembered as a key figure in British political history and his legacy can be seen in the many institutions and practices of modern British government.